Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we have a semi-full face of hard candy makeup products. So yes, we have the new look of hard candy. I bought this stuff back in, let me see if it tells me, it says April 25th of 2020. It's supposed to be a full face of hard candy products, but you guys, I actually realized that I didn't get any eyeshadow palettes. And this is the new formulated, new packaging, new products to the line by hard candy. I did do a unboxing or some, some sort. I will have that video linked. I had it in my mind to do like a complete full face of all kind of hard candy products that I found. I do have my shipping slip right here. So in this video, I will be able to tell you guys prices and stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review slash full face minus the eyes <laughs> review makeup tutorial. I don't have concealer. That's what I realized I didn't pick up. I don't have a lip liner. I don't have an eyeliner. I don't have lips and I don't think Hard Candy offers lashes. So everything else will be Hard Candy. So I really wanna show you guys my face routine and let's see if these products work for my skin tone. Before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a nice comment right now. So we're gonna start off with this primer now you guys know that I love to do my brows before anything but the steps that I like to take when it comes down to applying my makeup I do like to put on primer before doing the brows I did go ahead and wash my face with my black radiance exfoliant I think it's like a new bead exfoliant black radiance sun it over to me so I did go ahead <clears throat> and exfoliate and sorry if my voice sounds a little cray cray it is like eight o'clock in the morning. I've been up since six. I'm trying to pump these videos out, okay? So Black Radiance sent me over a facial exfoliant. So I did go ahead and do that and it makes my skin feel so soft. I love it. And then I did moisturize my face with my daily Cetaphil facial lotion. So we are gonna start off with the Heart Candy Sheer Envy Pore Defense Primer, and this is a 12-hour pore refining, minimizes the appearance of pores. It's oil-free, and it's silicone-free, and it says it's a new look. Mm. I remember loving hard candy back in the day, and I hadn't mm. bought anything like in so long from hard candy. Um, and when I did this here purchase back in April, you guys, hard candy had relaunched like new packaging new products so i was like you know what let's do a full face defense primer is seven dollars and mm. of course you guys know i love mainly drugstore makeup versus all that high-end makeup i do you know have my loves but i like drugstore more okay this is green It almost feels like a lotion. The smell of it is not pleasant. So with that primer, I'm looking at it and I feel like it did blur out some things. I don't really like the smell of it, but I mean, I think if you could get past the smell, you'll be all right. So this, Primer claims to be a lightweight primer serum. Helps to tighten up pores instantly. Astringents help absorb excess oil for flawless makeup wear. Hard candy has moved on to being cruelty free. I don't know if they always been cruelty free, but just for the ones who would love to know that, they don't test on animals. Um, I'm gonna let this sit in like it suggests. And we're gonna 
go ahead and talk about this brow product and this brow product is the hard candy gel pomade brow it's a pencil and buffer brush it says that it's long wearing and it has a precise triangle tip it mm -hmm. makes you a little interested in it she looks like this and i like the brush of her because this brush reminds me of how the new Fenty Brow Pencil is $7. So hopefully this comes out looking pretty good because you guys, y'all know I'm one of those people that will actually do a full face even though we don't know what we come out looking like. So let's hope that this all plays out really good. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and clean up the brows, but as you could tell, I'm really not liking this brow color. I'm liking the consistency of the brow pencil. I'm liking how easy and smooth it is to go on. It's not a lot of trouble, as you've seen. It's no tug to it. It's very um, almost waxy-like, but at the same time smooth. But the color, I wish these companies would get these colors down like it's looking great I can't wait to these companies figure out how to give that actual color that they're portraying the color to actually be you can't say this is a medium dark and then you get a fairly gray eyebrow color you know what I'm saying but we're gonna see what this new hard candy fiber brow gel volumizing cellulose this is like a brow pomade not a not a brow pomade this is like a brow gel and this is in medium dark too mm -hmm. so we're gonna see if this helps bring some color we're gonna see if it helps bring some color but you guys know i'm gonna go all the way in with this now this fiber brow gel medium dark is seven dollars as well so here's what she looks like come on mm -hmm. there we go Oh no, she's going to be cool tone as well as I could tell. She looks great as well, but we're going to do it anyway. Because I'm invested. I give you guys a review. But I can tell you that this is turning my brow colors gray. I don't know if y'all could tell, but it is. And this is not something that I will constantly use. If you like the ashy look, then this will be for you. If you like more of a cool tone, this will be more for you. But I can honestly tell you this is not... For me because if you've been here on my channel longer than well let's say from maybe two years on to current you guys i don't like cool tone brows i like more dark defined instagram eyebrows Ooh, i don't think this is gonna work for me but we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep on going. And I'm pretty sure these two products will be in a upcoming products that just didn't work for me. We're, we are going to move on to the new Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. This is the Oil Free Heart Candy. I already had a Glamouflage Foundation and Concealer. I used to love the foundation and concealer, but mine actually got too old. I remember liking the concealer and foundation because it was really 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 full coverage and thick so i'm hoping that this newly formed this newly formulated foundation is the same and i know the foundation back then i could never find my actual shade but i liked the fact that it was really full coverage so this time i got the shade mocha which I'm hoping it really looks like it's going to be too light. But we're going to try. And this foundation here is 
I love the price range of hard candy stuff too. Um, this says the claims of it is a full coverage foundation is oil free, long wearing, super smooth liquid that lasts up to 16 hours. Now, wide range of buildable shades, I can say, but you got to have the right wide range of foundation that fits everyone. So let's see. Oh, it's a doe foot. Okay, let's go hard candy. They normally have it in a pump form. So this actually reminds me of the, what is it called? What is it called? I have a foundation like this and I loved it. Oh, it's gonna irritate me to not think of it. And I think I still have it. What's up, babe? All right, y'all, I had to go and get it. it. This foundation is reminding me of my Clinique Beyond. It has a doe foot. And I want to say it's another drugstore foundation that I had. And I think it's Rimmel that had the doe foot. But that's what this is giving me. It's giving me those type of vibes. But I do honestly feel like this shade may not match. Mm, I wonder if it oxidizes. Now, I do need to take this and clean up the top of my brow. So, I am going to take my Durham makeup brush i speak about these makeup brushes a lot they are in my amazon storefront mm -hmm. um if you guys would like to check out my amazon storefront yes i do get a small commission from you guys using those links and purchasing it's really small but if you guys do not want to help your girl out and get them coins do not use those links but if you don't mind use the links girl yeah you guys this may be too light I did speak about this sponge in my last video and I said that it was the Sonia Kashuk um, sponge, but I lied. Sorry. This is really the Equate sponge that I got from Walmart. So I needed to clear that up before you guys be looking for this and it's nowhere to be found because it's not Sonia Kashuk. Sorry. Okay, you guys, the color is not that bad I, like I thought it was going to be. Brow still looks like ugh. But the color of this foundation is not that bad. And I didn't put too much on. It did soak up a lot into the sponge. But can we tell the difference with foundation? and without foundation let's put on some more i think that this can be a buildable coverage and i kind of like the fact that they gave us a doe foot this time to be able to control how much you're using now okay i can say that the foundation is picking up with the sponge that primer isn't holding it isn't holding that foundation but now can we see it is a lot it's lighter i'm gonna still try to make this work so two two applications of the foundation does give a fuller coverage i think the next darkest shade would have been too dark for me and it would have been like a mixing situation and I was trying not to have to go for that. But if I end up liking this new formula, new formulated foundation, that would be something that I need to consider is mixing. It blends out really well and it is real creamy. I just got the wrong shade. When I picked up my son from football practice and yes i had to go like this which he told me i didn't look crazy we made a chick-fil-a run we're back home we have eaten and they are back to classes i had got a few little itchy spots down in this area but i could say that it didn't change or anything like that I kind of feel like it oxidized a little bit but not too much so we're gonna go ahead and move on I am gonna use the 
Absolute New York Radiant Cover Brightening and Lifting Concealer. You guys, this is a part of my project pan. I got this from Shop Miss A a while back. All right, you see how pretty even and full coverage it looks? Looks really good to me. So we're gonna move on to, I did pick up these two, y'all the life. I apologize. So like I was saying, I did pick up these two from Hard Candy. So the first one is the Hard Candy Bake, Brighten and Set Sheer Envy Loose Powder. And this one is oil free. Um, this one is in banana. It says to bake, brighten, and set your makeup or concealer with that, with this multifunctional loose banana setting powder. This baking brightening powder is six dollars. And then we also picked up. Well, I also picked up the blurring and pore refining loose powder, um, loose finishing powder. And this is, I'm assuming all over. All right, so this is the bake powder. Okay, so mm -hmm. she looks like that. So on the blurring and pour refining loose powder, she's looking like this and she's more of a peachy look. Mm -hmm. So, Should we try the brightening today or should we try the blurring today? Everybody wins. We're gonna do one side blurring and one side brightening. So first we have the blurring. Yes, we have the blurring powder and we're gonna do that on my right side. And whichever one we like the most, we will put on the other sections. She looked like she blurred out everything though. I can't say that. So now let's go into the brightening. And catch this left eye. And yes, this is a damp beauty sponge, but it's more on the drier side of the dampness because I damped my sponge earlier this morning, but you guys, the crazy part about this, where do you really see a difference? So what's the difference? This is the brightening side and this is the blurring side. And I really, I really can't tell what's really a difference. The only thing I can tell you is that this side has more color payoff than this side. Now, I do want to move on to what's considered a matte bronzer. This is the new Dust, no, the new Just Glow Matte Bronzer plus Mango Butter Maui Matte. Now, with this one, I know it's not going to be a bronzer. I thought it would actually be a bronzer. This one here is $6. thought it was going to be a bronzer, but when I got it in, it's too light. So I was like, you know what, let's try it as a all over face powder and see how that goes. Maybe it'll bring that actual color back into my life that I'm looking for. So I am going to take, let's take my Morphe E54 brush and we're just going to place it a little bit and... This is some color. Let me swatch this for you guys. Because it almost looked like... Oh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that would have not worked. It's right there. It would have not worked for a bronzer. But it's given a little color. Unless I had a little powder left over from this brush. Because it's given a color. And it looks deeper and better than what I know it would have done as a bronzer. With this powder as an all over face powder, we're gonna see throughout the day what it's looking like. 
Hopefully I'll remember to do a check-in for you guys. This one so far is getting an A-ish, an A-minus, let's say. It's looking kind of good. So we don't have no bronzer, no actual bronzer. Before we move on to the blush and highlighter, I do want to go ahead and set my face one time. And we are going to use the new Hard Candy Matte Setting Spray. Now this setting spray was $6. And it says it's a new look, so I'm assuming Hard Candy already had this. They just gave it an uplift. This is a 12-hour wear plus oil control minimizing minimizes pores so it does have a hard mister it doesn't have a nice smell hopefully it locks in everything i don't like the smell if you guys are like a big smell type of person smell is not that bright it's not that good we are going to move on into the new just glow silky Oh, excuse me. Silky Blush and Mango Butter. This is a blush from Hard Candy and it is a new shade. It's called Gush Blush. And this one was $6. Okay, so let's see. And I kind of want to say this blush is going to be good. But at the same time, this blush is shimmery. I'm, I've never been a shimmer blush kind of girl but it's pretty it has gold glitter in it it's peachy so I think I want to go very light I don't think I want to go heavy I'm gonna use my crayon case I'm gonna tap a little bit oh y'all that picks up picks up I think too much yeah, y'all, this could act as a highlighter, too. The crazy part about it is it shows more goldy than peachy. I don't know if you guys can see it. Is my light's too bright? Because it gives more of a goldy look than peachy. All right, so, so far, I think I would probably put this in the highlighter drawer because it gives more of a goldy look than a peachy look. So, the last item in this whole entire thing will be this Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. And this doesn't seem to be new. It doesn't say new. This one here was $6, and it's just a highlighting palette. It doesn't say new on it or anything, so we're going to swatch it. It comes in three different shades, the champagne, the pinky, and then the gold. So I'm going to swatch them all together and see. That's going to be very powdery. It's down here, and it may be too light. So I'm going to take my Do Care brush. This is my Do Care highlighter brush, and it is a dupe for the ABH highlighter brush. If you want to find this, it is on Amazon in my Amazon storefront. I'm going to spray it with that Hard Candy spray. And... I don't want to go into all of them no more. I kind of want to stay right here in that goldish one. I don't want it to be too bright. Oh, that's pretty. But see, it just added more gold to that shimmery blush. And I'm not into that. I don't need everything to be shimmery and standing out. Just my cheekbones. Like... Just the cheekbones. It just really added to that blush. I don't want to lie because I feel like I'm looking a tad bit too glowy. But I am going to take this smaller Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to take the lightest shade here. And pop it right here. And my inner tear duct. I don't think that the blush would be a part of 
my blush collection because this is just making it like extra shiny if you like an extra shiny blush it will be pretty and if you are a lighter complexion it will actually show that peachy look but to me it doesn't show the peachy so look. okay you guys this is the finished look minus the hair um i don't really like the fact that the brows are brighter like lighter than anything but i can say it is a good brow product um i'm liking the face after all like once everything settled and married well together i actually like it you guys let me know how y'all feel about this just complexion makeup tutorial and what you feel about half of the or all of the um hard candy products so you guys comment down below let me know how you feeling about this video will you try out any of these new hard candy products or if you did let us all know and let us know how it worked out for you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy but that's it so far if you guys would like to purchase any of my makeup products make sure to check the link down below and use that coupon code that i got you guys and i will catch y'all in the next one stay shining and i'll see y'all in the next one Deuces.